Hello, folks. We're back out here feeding and watering. How y'all doing tonight, folks? Come on, Trump. went by Brewster, folks. He was back up on that banister again. I had to put the baby some feed in that little dish, folks. Hi, how you doing, folks? Hope you're doing good tonight. We're on here making a bird video again. I wanted to go check on Virginia and see how she's doing sitting on her eggs. Yeah, folks, she, I don't see no eggs down there, and um, she hasn't been on her nest, and so I don't know if we're going to have any baby geese or not. We'll just have to wait and see, because she's been getting up off her nest quite a bit lately, and it's hard to say. Let's see the baby chicks over there with its mama eating, folks. See that? Hi, folks. Hope you're doing good. But yeah, you gotta make sure they eat and stuff every night, folks. And sometimes when you feed them, they'll have feed left over for that night. So, um, there's times that you don't have to uh, check on them nightly. You just have to kind of glance out and see if they got feed left or whatever. And my husband went down there to work on the fence. And uh, he's trying to get that put up. We got a little privacy fence that we're putting up, folks. And I'm gonna go over here and put some water in this pan and I'm probably gonna, I might try to drain this little pool here, folks. Cause the geese like to have something to play in. But uh, I'm gonna go plug it in and put the pumps in.
Usually when they know that their pool's getting cleaned out, folks, they're on their best behavior. There goes the little chick, folks. It must have got full. And also around this time at night, folks, the little chicks think about going to roost. She may be taking it back down there and putting it in the pen and getting ready to sit on it. I've got two little chicks, folks, which is uh, the mama chick's sister. She's been helping keep an eye on the little chick because Penelope's a young mother and she just needs a little bit of help with it. But I think it's adorable folks have that little bitty chick that running around with its mom. I told my husband, I said, I think that uh, Penelope, because she's a young mother, she's trying to raise it like her. Because that's what she does. She just runs around wild and does what she wants to and jumps up all over the deck here on the top, you know, and comes over on our side of the deck. Because me and my husband have our deck to ourselves and we keep all the birds on this side. And it's a nice little setup, but I think um, I may get my husband's friends uh, grandson to come out here one day and help clean this front this back porch off folks because i tell you it's hard to get around to everything out here but uh i used to get out here and spray the carpet on the front back deck and you know i'd have my plants and stuff sitting there looking pretty and stuff but uh you know, as we get older, folks, we can't really uh, do the things that we used to do. But uh, look at them geese, folks. You can see their heads sticking up down there in the yard. Bobby, where's them kids at? Where's them goose children, Bobby? If anybody knows if dragonflies bite or not, folks, uh, leave a reply in the reply box because I've been seeing a lot of them. I seen one over on the Pyrenees' deck the other day by her room. And, uh, you know, I'm not really sure about them. I don't know if they bite or sting or whatever. I've never really heard whether they did or not. But I was just wondering about that, folks. There's Dorothy and Blanche eating, folks. And little Pixie's doing better. She's not hobbling along like she was before. So I ho I'm hoping that little treatment that she had uh, that we gave her the other day helped out a lot. She still holds her little foot up, folks, but, you know, if uh, you don't catch it on time, the leg mites, sometimes they have a tendency to lose uh, something on their feet, which is one of their toes, and that's what Pixie did. But she still gets around, folks, and does what she wants to do, though, so she's doing pretty good. But uh, I thought what I would do is I'd try to drain these pools and get them filled back up for the geese because it's been real hot today. And uh, maybe fill up the water pans and things like that. Because, you know, the geese don't go to roost like the chicks do. They're usually up playing in their swimming pools and stuff. And I'm about halfway thinking that if Virginia does have eggs down there, she may have changed her mind about uh, hatching the chicks. And um, 
Yeah. But I know it's been a little bit since I got you all a bird video. Uh, I had a lot of trouble with my tablet yesterday because there were some things that I had to delete to uh, gather up more storage on my tablet because I had a lot of uh, photos on there that was unnecessary and things like that, folks. But uh, I'm back in here with you today and I'm making you a good bird video, folks. The chicks went down there to, in the yard to dust, folks. I see them from here. But see, there's a dragonfly down there right now, folks, flying around that swimming pool. That's why I was wondering about them. Uh, whether they would, you know, uh, bite or not. I hope they don't because he's over here flying around close. But I think we we got those hornets under control, folks. I haven't been hearing any in the bedroom, so I'm assuming that they're gone now. Uh, when you come out in the yard, you don't see those ball-faced hornets now. I tell you, folks, you got to keep them things under control because they can be very dangerous. But I see the gander looking up here, folks, waiting on the pool, getting drained out so he can play in a good pool pool. They all look forward to that. Sometimes if I don't get time to drain uh, the ones out front, I usually go to the next morning and go out and get up early in the morning. But now in the morning, we got to take uh, our collie to the doctor because he's been having trouble with his uh, back and back end. You know how some dogs can break down in the back end, you know, and can't walk? Well, we gotta get him treated tomorrow. And I'm gonna switch this pump here in a minute and put it over in the big pool and uh, try to fill it up a little bit or, uh, or drain it so we can clean them out and fill them back up.
I'll probably have to, uh, well, y'all can see it there, can't you? Let's see, move you forward a little bit. Yeah, you can see it there. As long as my Tomcat ain't up here, folks. This morning, uh, he, uh, when I come out to fill up the water this morning, he got down there and uh, he got behind my camera and was trying to push it off the, the little thing that I got y'all sitting on. There's the geese, folks. Virginia's the showgirl, folks. When she's up here, they'll put on a show for you. She's drinking her some water. They want fresh water. I think she heard me talking about her, folks. Ain't you gonna be a Papa Goose, Bobby? Uh -huh. There's Dixie and Diamond over there in the corner, folks. Dixie's the mama. Diamond's the teenage chick. They set over there to try to stay away from the geese. She's gonna get her something to eat, folks. See her. I gotta fill up the black pan, too. Dorothy and Blanche like this little swimming pool here, folks. They could have a few waters sitting around and they don't hardly drink out of them, but you fill this pool up right here, they'll drink out of that. I guess because they're bigger chicks, maybe they feel like it's hot, you know, easier to drink out of that pool. They can get a fresher drink. Virginia and Bobby's over there drinking warm water, folks, out of that black can. See, they went over there with that black can, folks. Look. There they are. The stars of the show, folks, right? She may have decided not to hatch, folks. I don't know. I really don't know what they're doing, but I know they're running back and forth from up here to the uh, down below. My husband, I think he's kind of getting tired from working on the fence, folks. So he's coming back up here. Well, thank you for watching my YouTube channel, folks. You have a nice evening and a blessed evening. Stay tuned because after a while, sometime this after tonight, we're going to get in here and uh, color a, 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 an ocean scenery on canvas. Thank you, and you have a nice night. You got this, folks. You're awesome. Bye.